Cornelia Peacock was born in 1809 in the city of Philadelphia. She was born into an upper-class family as the seventh and youngest child. She was always a very religious person, and a year after she was baptized into the Episcopalian Church, the minister who helped her embrace her new faith, Pierce Connolly, married her on December 1, 1831. Cornelia had five children in all, but three died within her lifetime. The family then joined to the Catholic Church, but eventually Pierce felt like he had lost faith in the church and left Cornelia and the children to fend for themselves. After Cornelia lost custody of her children, she started the Society of the Holy Child Jesus, or SHCJ. We got to sit down with a member, Sister Helena Mayer, at the SHCJ archives. So we're talking about Cornelia Conley today, and we'll start off with our first question as, why did she convert from Presbyterian to Episcopalian? That was uh, chiefly because of the family. Uh, they, uh, her father was a Presbyterian, and then as she joined the Episcopalian Church, that was mm -hmm. where she met Pierce, actually, yes. her husband. So we don't really know why, mm -hmm. except for the circumstances of her life, yes. moved it along. Mm -hmm. And then our second question is, why did she decide to deal with girls' schools in England in, instead of America? Because she was living in Europe at the time, and uh, in, she found a property there, St. Leonard's on Sea where she was able to set up not only the school, but also the religious order, uh, where she could have postulants, the first uh, step on being a sister, and then novices, and then the professed community, those who had made their vows. So uh, that was uh, the beginning. And then she spread out from there to other parts of Europe and to America. And um, we are all over the United States also. Um, and she would be happy to know that we have um, missions in South America, mm -hmm. the Dominican Republic, and um, also in Chile. And we have sisters from those countries, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then our third question is, why did Pierce, her husband, decide that being a priest isn't quite right for him? Uh, Pierce is a very complicated person. Mm -hmm. And uh, although he seemed to think that being a priest was what God wanted him to do, as he went along, he seemed to let his ambition uh, take over, that he wanted to be more important than he was being at the time. And so he lost sight, I think, of his real priestly vocation. Mm -hmm. And then once he did that, he got into a lot of other uh, problems for himself and for Cornelia mm -hmm. and the family. Okay. And how did Cornelia affect our school's curriculum? Well, the uh, Book of Studies here was written by Cornelia. This is a copy. Uh, printed in 1865, uh, and it outlines the uh, course of study, what should be covered in each of the subjects, and also uh, the materials that would be needed for each subject, and um, how they should be taught, that the students should be involved in the learning process. And um, she incorporated even things like drama, and um, they uh, in dancing, singing, uh, so it wasn't just arithmetic and, and English. Um, so the students were uh, well kept and they learned quite a lot from them? Yes, they did, uh, because she had a very broad view of education herself, and so she was able to communicate that to her students. Mm -hmm. um, were her children, were they quite as successful as she was? Her youngest son, Frank, mm -hmm. was a very successful artist. And we have uh, his sculpture over there. His sister, Adeline, posed for him uh, as um, he was doing various sculptures. And this is our most famous piece, which you mm -hmm. can see later on. Um, 
Their two youngest children died in, as babies. Mm -hmm. Little Mary Magdalene was only a few months old when she died. John Henry um, had a terrible accident and was burned to death. And uh, Mercer, who was her oldest son, mm -hmm. uh, poor Mercer was sent off to boarding school by his father. It was mm -hmm. not her decision. And um, he was never, never really at home. Mm -hmm. um, he went off to America, and uh, in the 1850s, the early 1850s, there was a yellow fever epidemic in the South, and that's where he was, mm -hmm. and he died of yellow fever there. So um, nobody really knows where he is buried. So that, that's mm -hmm. very sad. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, his, uh, her daughter, Adeline, um, really her father, Pierce, uh, kept her almost as a little girl. Mm -hmm. uh, he just she didn't allow her to become a grown woman. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was devoted to him, and she took care of him in his old age and while he was sick. But um, she really did not, um, didn't, wasn't allowed to grow up, you might mm -hmm. say. And that was a great source of pain to Cornelia. Yeah. Why did Cornelia decide to stay as a sister? Well, she believed that she had a true vocation that God was calling her. It was not her idea originally. Because Pierce uh, wanted to be a priest, at that time um, the wife uh, would have to become a sister. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, having entered um, the Society of the Sacred Heart, and then she realized that she had another vision, which was the Society of the Holy Child Jesus, uh, she realized she really did have a vocation, even though she hadn't started out that way. Mm -hmm. And it was because of that that she believed in her vocation, that she was able to go forward and uh, continue to serve God that way mm -hmm. through education. Um, why did she start the SHCJ? Uh, she believed in education, and uh, she was really asked by the Pope to um, to educate girls, in England especially. So it was uh, there that she began uh, her schools, this St. Leonard's on Sea. And um, so it, it was the Pope's idea that she should do this, and then she um, had all the talents uh, to set that mm -hmm. up, the organizational skills and the, the education herself. So um, that everything evolved from that. Mm -hmm. And what did the S8 CJ do? Uh, education, mm -hmm. uh, schools. In those days and in, those, in that country, England, uh, it was mostly boarding schools. Mm -hmm. um, they might have had some day students coming in, but chiefly it was boarding schools. Mm -hmm. And then gradually it spread out over Europe, uh, throughout England and uh, Ireland also. Um, and of course back to the United States eventually. And then, of course, it, it continued to grow and evolve, the whole educational system. And around how big was it? Like, how many people? In the very beginning, quite small. Probably at St. Leonard's, when they first set up the um, first convent there, there were fewer than 50 nuns, mm -hmm. fewer than that. And then it grew to be probably never a very big congregation, mm -hmm. but um, probably around 500. Uh, maybe a little more uh, altogether at, at its uh, biggest. When Cornelia Conley started the Society of the Holy Child Jesus, there were less than 50 sisters in it, and now it has grown to having over 500 people. Today, the SHCJ has missions in South America, the Dominican Republic, Chile, and more. When the time finally came for Cornelia to die, she begged for justice, not mercy. On Easter Sunday, 1879, at 12.55 p.m., Cornelia died at age 70. Cornelia's work still shined through and touched the hearts of many every day. Cornelia's life was never easy, but as she once said, Difficulties exist, only to be overcome.